Hey, so we got a special delivery in class this morning. We got a package from Sam and some different pictures. He's a kid photojournalist, and he brought us some pictures so we could determine where they were taken. We could describe those places, and he also brought us this book. It's called How to Make an Apple Pie and See the World, and we are going to read this as our reading story this week, and we're going to talk about setting along with this and the pictures that Sam brought us. So I'm going to go ahead and read you this book this morning. Um, I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. So how to make an apple pie and see the world by Marjorie Priceman. Making an apple pie is really very easy. First, get all the ingredients at the market. Mix them well, bake, and serve. Unless, of course, the market is closed. In that case, go home and pack a suitcase. Take your shopping list and wear some walking shoes. Then catch a steamship bound for Europe. Use the six days on board to brush up on your Italian. And I love that picture of her really working on her Italian accent. If you turn it right, you'll arrive in Italy at harvest time. Find a farm deep in the countryside, gather some superb semolina wheat, an armful or two will do. Then hop on a train to France and locate a chicken. French chickens lay elegant eggs, and you want only the finest ingredients for your pie. Coax the chicken to give you an egg. Better yet, bring the chicken with you. There's less of a chance of breaking the egg that way. Get to Sri Lanka any way you can. You can't miss it. It is a pear-shaped island in the Indian Ocean. The best cinnamon in the world is made there from the bark of the native Kurkurunda tree. So go directly to the rainforest, find this tree and peel off some bark. If a leopard is napping beneath the tree, be very quiet. Hitch a ride to England. Make the acquaintance of a cow. You'll know she's an English cow from her good manners and charming accent. Ask if you can borrow a cup or two of milk. Even better, bring the whole cow if you want the freshest possible results. Stow away on a banana boat headed home to Jamaica. On your way there, you can pick up some salt. Fill a jar with salty seawater. When the boat docks in Jamaica, walk to the nearest plantation. Introduce yourself to everyone and tell them about the pie you're making. Then go into the fields and cut a few stalks of sugar cane. Better fly home. You don't want the ingredients to spoil. Wait a minute. Aren't you forgetting something? What about the apples? Have the pilot drop you off in Vermont. You won't have to go far to find an apple orchard. Pick eight rosy apples from the top of the tree. Give one to the chicken, one to the cow, and eat one for yourself. That leaves five apples for the pie. Then hurry home. Now all you have to do is mill the wheat into flour, grind the bark into cinnamon, evaporate the seawater from the salt, boil the sugar cane, Persuade the chicken to lay an egg, milk the cow, churn the milk into butter, slice the apples, mix the ingredients to bake the pie. Whew. While the pie is, pie is cooling, invite some friends over to share it with you. <sighs> Still fishy. Remember that the apple pie is delicious, topped with vanilla ice cream, which you can get at the market. But if the market happens to be closed, you can eat it plain. Okay, and on the last page of our book, it has a recipe where you can make an apple pie all on your own at home. Um, it's got the ingredients for the crust and the filling also. And like I said, it is delicious with ice cream on top. So if you are reading this book at home, think about the different places that the little girl went 
uh, the different settings that our book went through in the story and um, talk to your mom or your dad about what you have learned this week about setting. I hope you enjoyed reading with me.